Snoop situation, like, didn't he go positive with this Snoop lying thing? Like, what happened to the peaceful Snoop? All of a sudden, you're back bashing white people over, over, uh, over somebody that we already know was racist from the beginning. Like, that's just, that's disgusting. Like, you, you promote ignorance in your music. Like, he's the reason why I started gang banging years ago. But, you know, I woke up due to the ideologies and, of Ron Paul and listened to people like you and your show. Like, like we got to stop brainwashing the black community. Like, uh, what, abortions kills more people, has killed more people than the KKK? There's more black murders in the urban community than, than in the history of the KKK in America. Like, why are we letting the television brain? We need to get people active, like how, you know, the, the Panthers was back in the days, getting organized and getting people in, and people active. Now, Michael Jordan, like, he destroyed the, the urban community. How dare you say anything about racism when you, you're charging people $250 in the ghetto, but people spend their last bit of money where they don't buy their kids food because they're trying to stay fresh to, to wear. Exactly. Their they're clothes. buying in. To Michael Jordan, who I know reportedly behind the scenes is a real jerk, and and, and you know just like he he reportedly acts just like Lance Armstrong, he thinks he's God. Everybody else is trash. You know his girlfriend gets cancer. I'm done with you. You know he he's like a Newt Gingrich. I mean these guys are the scum of the earth. I don't care what color they are, and what you're saying is absolutely on target. The way the gangster culture. Uh, you know, the $300 tennis shoe culture, and people think they've got status because they have that bling, and it's socially designed to absolutely annihilate the black community, and it's done it. I mean, look, Christ said you judge a tree by its fruits, and look at what modern liberalism and, and so-called multiculturalism has done. We are more divided the communities are falling apart, but don't worry. They're not, they're not just done with the black people. They're going to do it to everybody. And, and it, it's so sick to sit here and to see it and to see people totally captured by it. Anything else? Yeah, man. It's, it's, we got to wake, wake people up, man. If we don't unite now, it's going to be like because these elitists have taken over and it's, it's going to be us left behind. So, yeah, that's it, brother. Crip Ron Paul, check me out on my YouTube. All right. Thank you so much. And, yeah, the globalists do want to have a race war. Look how they're doing race war or religious war in, in Crimea, other areas. Uh, look at using one Muslim group against another in Syria. The globalists divide and conquer the great games of Big Brzezinski. Divide and conquer is the name of the game. It's the only way this tiny global elite can dominate the planet is divide and conquer. Balkanization. It's the only way they can do it. And I, I know you know that. We've got to get that message out to people that we've got to stand on morals, family, private property, a new renaissance, becoming informed, not buying into the modern fake liberal culture of death that the Republican Party is just another arm of. And we're going to go to break and come back with this amazing professor that I saw on Stefan Molyneux's show because I'm wanting to get a bunch of professors on of epigenetics. She's not a professor of that. Uh, she's a behavioral uh, uh, science and psychology, but it all ties in together. And, but, but just the way she was quantifying it and getting into some of the important points of it. So I'm going to get a bunch of people on uh, that uh, I heard her talk about because I've done research on this years ago, but more and more the field is really describing what's happening. So we're going to go to her. If, if you want to hold, uh, because I want to talk to you after she's gone, uh, I believe that's Hollis. And then uh, Rennell, Chris, and Chris, we will get to all of you after she leaves us. And then Dr. Edward Group is going to be uh, here in studio to talk about what the cell phones are doing. See, I don't care who you are, what color you are, the cell phones are killing us dead in a hammer. It's kind of like the Gardasil shots in their own trials eight years ago were sterilizing people, giving them autoimmune diseases, and killing some. Now they're making it mandatory for all little girls in Mexico. You're not going to hear it La Raza, that means the race, by the way, very racist group, warning Hispanics not to take the shot. They're just going to talk about how gringos are racist all day. See how the real social engineers have to act like they're fighting racism? Because in the truth, they're selling the cultural engineering and control that's meant to play us all off against each other. We're going to go to break. When we come back, we're going to go to the professor, who I really appreciate joining us briefly. Remember, this is a listener-supported transmission. We have sold out over and over again of the nascent iodine proprietary. So good for your glands. Done so much for me energy-wise, weight loss-wise, skin health-wise. It's been $29.95. That's half the price of the leading competitor of this proprietary iodine. I'm taking $5 off because we ordered such a mass quantity of it. We do have finally have a glut of it. 
but we're only going to run this for a couple weeks. It's $5 off, $24.95. Survival Shield Nation Iodine, a great way to stock up on it, and it supports the broadcast. Check out the other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com and our Wake Up America Coffee, grown in southern Mexico in the high mountains, totally organic by the Chiapas rebels, basically. Uh, that's at InfoWarsLife.com. And as always, thank you all for your support. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy byproducts from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks, I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. If you watch, the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. Darsha Narvaez is a professor PhD at Notre Dame University. And check her out at www.nd.edu forward slash, I guess, till D. D. Narvaez, 
And we really appreciate her coming on with us because I, I, I watched an hour-long program she was on over the weekend uh, on Stefan Molyneux's TV show up in Canada. She's with us throughout the hour that I promise if you guys hold, I'll go to you. But I wanted to get her on because she was talking about just child development and how children are not doing as well in Western society as they were in the past. I mean, every metric shows that. But she was also getting into uh, epigenetics, which she's not a professor of, but she studied. I'm going to get a bunch of professors of it on because I personally, you know, have had experiences growing up, whatever you want to call them, of, of what I would call hyper instincts. I um, mean, I was like a, almost like an old man when I was a kid in ways. But so are young girls, other young boys. I have two daughters. And they'll just out of the blue, even when they were little bitty, just say incredibly profound things I know they've never heard before. So what is that? Well, it's the innate programming of humans, folks. We are all our ancestors. And they've proven the DNA is basically a record of things. And it just gets deeper and deeper. But this is a short segment, long segment coming up. I'm giving you my layman view of it. But I think this is the key to understanding so much. She joins us uh, today. And I appreciate her coming on. And, and we'll go over her bio more in the next segment. But uh, how would you quantify what's happening to the youth uh, and how that ties into epigenetics. Well, good to talk with you, Alex. Good well, to have you. Thanks for having me on. I uh, see that we uh, have been misdeveloping or misraising kids for some time now, and that affects their own uh, expression of genes they inherit, their DNA, but it also then affects the, the subsequent generations. We know that they're uh, epigenetic inheritance effects now, so that if your grandparents went through a famine, when uh, either your your mother as an egg or your uh, the, the sperm of the the grandfather was affected, then you're going to be affected as a grandchild. Your health, for example, and I, what I'm doing is I'm expanding and pulling together information about how that affects our social capacities and our moral capacities. Um, describe for folks um, um, more of the definition of epigenetics. Epigenetics, well, the, it's kind of a little, the, the broad uh, understanding of it is how, as you are growing, there are sensitive periods for genes to be turned on or off, is the easy way to say it, or expressed is more formal way to say it, so that you might have a gene, for example, they've done studies on a, a family in Europe, where they have a particular M-A-O-A uh, gene uh, that is linked to aggression, and they find that the family members are tend to be more aggressive, and they the ones who have uh, certain variations of the gene. But it turns out that that's not enough. It's not enough just to have the gene. You have to have an environment of abuse that actually makes that gene get expressed in a particular way or leads to aggressive behavior. Well, exactly. Here's an example. I started getting beat up a lot when I was 10 or 11 years old. I was the sweetest kid ever, but then I turned into a just absolutely vicious person. I mean, I'm nice today, but it, it developed and expressed, you know, barbarian uh, type traits. Right. And so there's different sensitive periods for genes to be expressed in a more or less permanent way. And the first few years of life are one of those time periods. Early adolescence is another so the, those experiences you have at that time of support for what you need or not are going to uh, influence how your genes are functioning, essentially. Some people say, really, genes don't really matter much. It's all epigenetics. So genes are just a blueprint, and they, they're innate. They're, uh, I'm sorry, they're um, inanimate. They don't function unless experience turns them on or off. Or so they're basically like switches. Uh, well, it's a blueprint, and you got the environment is the switch. Oh, yeah. oh, I see. So it's the blueprint, and then the environment is the switch. I get it. Right. Wow. And of course, the establishment has known this for a long time, uh, and I think that's why it's important for the public to understand this. Because if I look at the social engineering going on, they are clearly trying to make people be like jellyfish or something. Yeah, well, when you undermine babies' needs, uh, which I argue about and write about a lot in study, you are developing a person that's stress-reactive. So what happens is the, the part of the brain, the more executive functions 
are an established well to control those fear or anger reactions uh, because that has to happen in those first